my hair. Today, I am going to do the, no, let me make sure I get the beautiful, beautiful Christmas tag. And this was made by Debbie LeBlanc. And I will put her name on the screen and I will put her down below. And she tagged me to do this and I'm a bit late to the game. But it is still before Christmas, so <laughs> I, I'm, I'm still within a good time frame, I think. <laughs> she made, this is her own tag that she made. So congratulations, Debbie, on making your own tag. That's fantastic. I can never think of anything original enough or with interesting enough questions to do my own tag. <laughs> um, so well done. So, the first question is, if you were to pick one Christmas gift, beauty related, to receive for Christmas, what would it be? It would be eyeshadow, all the way. It's the thing that excites me most. I love eyeshadow. So um, I would pick eyeshadow. <laughs> Give me a colourful eyeshadow palette and I will be happy. <laughs> Two, if you created a Christmas eye look, would it be red or green? Now, last year I probably would have said green, because I didn't really have hardly any red eyeshadow. Now I'm going to say red because I discovered I really like red eyeshadow. <laughs> it was because of the main squeeze color pop palette. So I'm going to say red. The next one is what new Christmas rollout beauty item excites you the most and why? Um, I haven't seen any that really excited me this year. Last year when they brought out the um, gingerbread palette from Too Faced, I really wanted that one. I didn't get it, but that one really interested me. Does that make any sense? That one really interested me. But this year, the extra spicy money didn't really do much for me. I'm still more interested in the first one because it's got more brighter colours in. And I haven't seen anything this year that I've looked at and thought, oh, I really want that Christmas one. And in store, we don't really have a lot coming in store in my town. So it's only what I see online and stuff. And the last few weeks I've been keeping away from new releases and things so I haven't been watching it because um, I haven't been wanted to be too tempted to buy too many things so last year definitely the gingerbread palette was tempting me I would have loved to have had that last year. Next question, thinking about Christmas past is there a favourite beauty item that you received? What was that item and do you still have it? Well, I didn't really get into makeup in a huge way until last year anyway. So last year was the first Christmas that anyone brought me beauty items. And um, I kind of cheated anyway because you know, I took my girls shopping and they said, what do you want for Christmas? I said, oh, I want that. I mm -hmm. want that. And one of the favourite things I got was the Sofax Revolution highlighter palette. And I really enjoy using it. And I still really enjoy using it. And I anticipate really enjoy using it for the next year as well. <laughs> so that would be my pick. Do you change your skincare routine for winter? Any tips or tricks? Well, in summer, it is actually Christmas here. So it's summer now, not winter. <laughs> so I'm going to change that question slightly and say, do I do anything different in summer? Um, I am extra vigilant about putting my sunscreen on. If I can... I use sunscreen because um, the sun is pretty harsh here in New Zealand and you've got to protect your face. You've got to protect all your skin. But yeah, so definitely use the sunscreen. And um, usually I don't have to moisturise as much in summer because the warm air and things seem to bring up natural oils more. At the moment, the hay fever has just been at a record high. So um, I've had to start using my oils, my facial oils, a lot more around my eyes and things because they've just been dry and itchy and um, and I feel great. So <laughs> I've I've had to hydrate a lot more than I would normally. So um, yeah, just making sure I put the sunscreen on, and I don't really change it up that much from winter to summer. It's more how my skin is feeling at the time because like, at the moment my skin is really dry because of the hay fever so I'm using lots of extra moisturising products whereas if it wasn't for the hay fever I probably wouldn't need to so I, I'm more tainted up with how my skin is feeling at the time rather than from season to season if that makes sense <laughs> next one Christmas gatherings 
uh, you no makeup, everyday makeup, or full glam. Um, I, I do wear makeup, and I usually do something a little bit colourful or special, but not full glam, because I don't want to spend all my time putting my makeup on, I want to be with the family and that, so it's kind of everyday glam, <laughs> I would say, and I do it as quickly as I can, so that I can um, get out there and be with the family and do Christmas stuff and that, rather than be doing my makeup. Okay, unless I wanted to get up really, really early. I guess I do get up early anyway, but that's time I spend with my girls instead. <laughs> so, um, everyday glam, I would say. With a bit of colour, like I might add a bit of glitter or something. Your favourite palette from your collection that gets you in the Christmas mood and why? Um, when I think of Christmas, I think of red, green and gold. Um, I haven't got a, one palette that has the colours that I want. So I've actually teetered and I've got two palettes. <laughs> so, and you'll see, yeah, I've got the main squeeze from Colourpop, so there's your reds. <laughs> and the chilled palette from Revolution, which I haven't really yet I'm still dying to get into this one and it has got gold and green and glitter so these two together I think would be everything I need for Christmas looks so that is my answer <laughs> your favorite Christmas red lipstick for the holidays now my favorite is actually the Australis slay all day lip stain and it's a lip stain so it's not a lipstick so it goes on very kind of smooth, but it's a nice bright red. And then I'll let that dry in and it'll stay there. And then I will put my Melting Pout by Covergirl in Gel Yes, which is 125. And I'd, I would put this one over the top for some shine. So I would combine those two. This one. This one here is the Slay All Day. I can rub my finger on it, and I'm rubbing it quite a lot, but it's still there. So I, I don't have to worry about not having any colour. And then with this on the top, that's what it ends up looking like. So I would do that. So you get a bit of the shine from the melting pout. So after I've wet that and then rubbed it, so there's still a little bit of a red tint so it doesn't get everywhere when you kiss people and <laughs> when you um, drink on your on glasses and stuff and you don't feel like you have to keep touching up your lipstick because it's all gone <laughs> there's just enough color left with the lip stain to um, make you feel like you still got something on your lips so that's what I would do now if you're planning on shopping for beauty items for Christmas where is your go-to place to shop Sephora, Indie Brand, Ulta. We don't have Sephora or Ulta anywhere around me, so I wouldn't go either of those. Um, this year, I, um, I went online and shot at Revolution and Colourpop for Christmassy kind of things. I would probably pick Colourpop first though, but I'd already bought stuff from Colourpop, so there wasn't anything I actually wanted on there. Um, if it's in store, then I would go to Farmers and see what they've got and um, buy stuff from there. Like I got the, I don't think it's here, I got the Tasty Avocado palette just before Christmas. It's not a Christmas palette, but it was like a Christmas present to myself. And I always go to Kmart because they have BYS there. And so I will look and see if they've got anything new. They haven't had anything new out in my store for a while. They had they had some little palettes that were new last time I went in, which I looked at but didn't buy. <laughs> so, so I always look there. There isn't anywhere else really in store around that I look at. Um, the mainstream brands like um, Revlon and Elizabeth Arden and Maybelline and things. Um, in Rimmel. Occasionally Rimmel will bring out something in store where I am, but all the other ones, most of them are pretty boring or they're palettes that have been around for ages and um, 
Yeah, so I don't really get that excited about Christmas releases at store around here. <laughs> That's a really boring answer, but yeah, I would go online if I wanted something special, Christmassy, because I can't kind of, they just don't have many in store. <laughs> but we have really boring makeup around here <laughs> most of the time. And the last one is please tag five other people. So um, I'm going to have to look up five other people who haven't already done this tag because they're just a bit late to the party. So I'll do that and I'll go and tag some people. Okay, now I don't know whether these people have been tagged before, but as far as I can tell, they haven't actually done the tag. So these are people that I watch on a regular basis. And um, so I'm going to tag Angie from Boy Beauty. And I'm going to tag Helena from Makeup. And Gabby from Gab and Glam. And I'm going to tag Flawed and Fabulous. And I'm going to tag Elena Jenkins. So those are my five people to tag. Um, and I haven't given you much time to be organised for this tag, sorry. <laughs> but um, you can always do it after Christmas. <laughs> That'll still be relevant. You can actually tell us what you got for Christmas then. <laughs> So um, thank you, Demi, for taking me, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye.